Hi, it's John from Android Addicts with a quick video showing you how you can control your notification volume settings separate to your ringtone volume settings. So ever since I picked up the uh, P20 Pro here from Huawei, I've been rather annoyed at the fact that I can't separately control my notification setting. So I can control the ringtone, I control media and alarms and calls separately, but there's no separate volume slider for notifications. Now coming from the Lenovo P2 here, this did have separate notification volume as you can see here. So why would you want to control notifications separately? Well, personally, I like to know when someone's calling me. Uh, it's normally for a good reason. So I want to be able to hear that if it's in my pocket or something. But if someone just sends me an email or a message on something, I'm not too fussed about it. Uh, certainly not seeing it straight away. So I don't want the sound of the notification to be the same sound as the ringtone. So for example, what I would normally do is have my ringtone on max volume. And when someone sends me a message, I'm just gonna Bluetooth a photo across here just to give you an idea of the sound. Let's just go into Bluetooth. Okay, that's on. So you can see that's quite loud. If I set the ringtone volume to about half and send it again, you'll see the decrease in the notification volume. So there we are, that's, that's a bit quieter. So the problem you see here is that if you set your volume down to low on the ringtone, if someone calls you, the volume of the phone will be as such that you won't actually hear it. So after a few weeks of owning the phone, I got quite frustrated about not being able to control the notification volume separately to my ringtone volume as I had done on my last phone here. So I went about finding an app which would hopefully resolve this problem for me. And I did find one. The only one I found that actually worked is this one here called Precise Volume. They're not paying me for this video. It just happens to be that their app is the only one that works for this phone at least anyway. So with Precise Volume, when you load it up, you actually get the option to control the notification volume separate to the ringer volume. Now to get that to come up, you have to go into more settings and enable this first option here to split the ringer slash notification. So with that turned off, this is the default that the app opens with. You'll see here the ringer and notification and system volume all controlled with one slider as we would expect when using the actual built-in system controls. So go into more settings, enable this setting, and it will then split them up into separate sliders, as we can see, which is great. Now the one caveat you have with this is that when you control the volume through the app, as I'm doing here, if you then make a change using the hardware keys, the setting you've set in precise volume no longer is active. So you will have to go back into the program, wiggle it around until you get back to the percent you want, and that will reactivate the custom setting that you've set. So it is a slight annoyance, but as long as you remember, if you've ever gone up or down on the volume rocker here, just go back into the precise volume settings quickly and readjust your notification volume. So what I'm going to do as a test, I'm going to set the ringtone volume to 100%, and I'm going to set the, I'll set it at 100% too, just so you can see that it is definitely making a difference. I'll send a file again via Bluetooth. We'll decline the file. So that was 100% volume, it's quite loud. We'll go to 50% volume. slightly quieter as you should have heard and now I'm going to go down to what I normally set it to which is about 10% volume okay so I'll send the file again and as you can see 
the notification volume is quieter. So I'll come out of the app, send again, just to make sure that it's still working with the app closed. And it is. And just to show you the little caveat that I said about earlier, if I now just... Hi, I thought I'd better pause the video here just in case there were any questions regarding the volume notification that I'm adjusting here using the system uh, volume hardware keys. So as you can see, the volume started off at quite a low level, even though inside precise volume it was a high level. I can assure you that the precise volume setting does take precedence over the system settings once you've set it in precise volume. But when you then try and use the hardware keys to adjust the volume, it will pick up the last uh, volume that was set via precise volume for the notification. So even though it looks like the ringtone would be quite quiet when I'm resetting it here with the volume keys, it is actually full volume as set by precise volume. I hope that makes sense. If you have any queries about that, just let me know down below and I'll try and explain it a bit better. Anyway, on with the video. The ringtone volume through the system settings. So all I've done is set the volume to max from ringtone. And we're now back at full volume for notifications as well. So I'll go back into here. I will go up and down a tiny bit, back to 10%. Close this down. Send a file. And we're back to a very quiet, hopefully the mic did pick that up, very quiet notification. So there are a couple of things to remember when using the app. One, if you use the hardware buttons, you will then need to go back into the app and set the notification volume back down to your desired setting. And two, if you restart your phone, you will also need to go back in and set up the notification volume, even if you just give it a bit of a, a, bit of a wiggle to make sure it's registered back down at the volume you desire. So if you have any problems with the app not remembering your settings, one setting I would suggest to turn on is in more volume settings and then volume control notification. If you enable the notification, it adds a persistent notification at the top or the bottom of your notification drawer, which hopefully just gives it a bit more dominance in the memory management of the phone so that it doesn't get ended and lose your settings. I haven't experienced any problems with it at all, but I've just turned it on anyway just to make sure no app management disables or closes the app down. So I hope you found this video useful. It should hopefully work on other phones, not just the P20 Pro, but any other phones that don't have a separate slider for notification volumes. And I, again, I, I can't understand why manufacturers don't put it in because I surely can't be the only person in the world who wants to have a separate volume for their notifications. So leave any comments you have down below, I'll do my best to answer them and subscribe to my channel for more.